last video you saw that uh, when I unpacked that box. So now here is I assembled this uh, top sonar mount and uh, this is my optical tube. But before that you must uh, watch uh, how to assemble this uh, top sonar mount. For that I am sending that uh, link. You just go through that link and uh, observe this step by step because it will take a little bit time so that's why I didn't shoot that video because it's my first time so for that if you just go to that link and observe this uh, mount assembly how to assemble that telescopic mount so before we are going to start I just want to say something for uh, who are new to observe the sky or uh, who has no any knowledge about the uh, astronomy so for them I have some suggestions. You must uh, you must have some little bit uh, one percent, two percent, or three percent, or may, maybe ten percent, little bit knowledge about astronomy. For that, you must uh, uh, study this uh, practical astronomers by DK Publishers. So it is very good. You can see the uh, month by month star chart also, and uh, even some messier. Then uh, in this object, I see your object. You can search through that books. So it's for beginners, okay? And uh, also you must see this uh, sky and telescopes pocket star atlas. It could help you to locate the constellation by observing any uh, any time of any season. But before that, you must. Uh, have some knowledge about the our uh, season wise constellations so it is very good for you also you must study this before then uh, through this unboxing i got this uh, new uh, this instruction instruction manual for this uh, assembly of telescope so i got from this orion telescope and manuals and uh, orion is uh, my first brand to uh, use the telescope and uh, this is the my first to bigger uh, it is it i i refers for interscope so with that uh, one parcel i didn't get it that uh, interscope computer system so it is very good for locating any object of any time of any season so before that you must uh, study this instruction manual then you can understand how is the importance of this uh, telescope so i am going to show you the some instruments which i have got with this scope this is the orion correct image right angle finder scope which is by 9 by 50 mega so it is a uh, quite little bit uh, bigger than my previous telescope so i can easily find at night any star so it is uh, uh, very good for the locating the first star means objecting or find any star first okay then also i have got from this uh, culmination tool culmination tool means whenever we travel outside or countryside so we must carry this scope and tube also so within some travel, some mirror collimination will uh, get some problem. So for that collimination, you must use this collimination tool. But don't worry, before you must understand how to assemble. Then after that, you can study little by little, step by step, how to collimate the mirrors means angle, appropriate angle. Okay. Then also I have got this. Uh, uh, multi coated or I IDs. I got two IDs. One is for 10 millimeter serious postal IDs. So it's very good. 10 millimeter means it's a very high power. So whenever you observe this figure, so more observe observe this uh, more value of this figure that means the low power like this. But now I got this 10 millimeter that means it's a very uh, good power high power like this so also i got this uh, 
para na gisulin mo o maybe it is a serious person 25 mm so it is a very good to observe the uh, deep sky object like uh, Andromeda galaxy then uh, star clusters or uh, any asterism also we also observe the asterism coat hanger asterism so it is very good to observe and you also can observe the colors of the stars last video i also uh, already mentioned that so even it has uh, some uh, features like uh, this belongs to only 1.5 means 1.25 uh, inch eyepiece so it has also uh, a focuser of 2 inch eyepiece so uh, you can also use 2 millimeter uh, 2 inch great power great uh, degree of view eyepiece to the telescope so it could be like this uh, 35 millimeter or 40 millimeter or uh, if you want to more low power then you can also use uh, 40 or 45 so it's uh, your jaw dropping video you can shoot also you can see when you observe through that so you type this then you also enjoy as i enjoy it so this is our uh, dobsonian dobsonian um, uh, on base already i assembled so Dobsonian is uh, name of our person, John Dobson, who invented this uh, wooden base mount for this Newtonian reflector telescope, especially for bigger size telescopes. So, John Dobson is the inventor of this telescopic mount. So, I hope you enjoy this video. So, now we can observe through. We can see you this eyepiece also, this uh, tube also. Okay, so anyone new to our channel, so I request to them all please subscribe our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for viewing the more and more video. Thank you. It's midnight, we're going all night. Can you pass a drink to get the vibe right? Don't feel like having a bun light. A tequila with some salt and lime. This is Orion XT8, 8 base, 8 inch means that aperture size is about 8 inch, that means at least uh, 20, uh, 20, 22 or 3 centimeter. So you can see that. So here you can see that. This is the aperture. That, uh, sorry, this is the main uh, through that aperture size that light comes in, and that uh, outside is their primary mirror, and that reflect that image to the secondary mirror, and above this there is a eyepiece, and uh, through that eyepiece you can see that images. So it has also one. For your better um, movement of your telescope so after assembly then i will put this on this uh, telescopic mount it also moves like that left right left right left right and it moves up down and up down for your object to movement so as i see my face is getting very very close so now it is very clear and sharp view so you can 
see also from close close point so this is very good for deep sky observation so you can see it from very close